Let me tell you a story about a book called Infinite Jest and why you should read it with me. I had never heard of this book before, and then Bill Gates says something about it on Twitter, and it's something, something, I haven't read it yet, but I've been wanting to for years, and I thought, now is my opportunity to kick Bill Gates' ass? I've been wanting to do so for years, but he's good at a lot of things. I got all excited, and then I promptly forgot completely and went about my life and never thought about it again. Until about two more years later, I see him on Twitter and he says something like, yeah, I still gotta tackle that book and I still haven't. And I thought, now is the time. The universe is speaking directly to me. Now is the time to order this book and get this done so you can shit talk him. So I bought it and I read it and I love it. And it's bizarre and it's pure unmitigated chaos through and through and it's huge. And I've been dwelling on it and obsessed about it for a few years. And I really want to share the experience with you. I also want my girlfriend, Miss Kate, to read it. When we first met, she goes, she finds this article and it says, if your guy you're dating has any of these books on his shelf, then you should run away immediately. And like Infinite Jest was number one. And there were a bunch of other ones that I had in that book. And so, you know, we know that she doesn't have any good taste, right? We, we know that. But I'm going to make her read this. And so I figure we can all read it together. This is gonna be a hard book to read and I'm gonna sell it to you in the same way that I sell everything by making it sound utterly terrible and then finding the people who like things that are obscure and difficult you know, scarcity for the sake of scarcity, because I'm going to make it sound interesting, but not appealing. This book isn't just long, it's as if it was written by a psychopath. It's bizarre in language, like it's hard to read the words, and the structure is like nothing else. It makes you feel like a crazy person going through it. I'll explain why. The book is obviously long, but it has footnotes everywhere. In fact, the back 10% of the book is all footnotes and they're long, sometimes over a page, sometimes the footnotes alone are a couple pages. The footnotes have footnotes. And so what you end up doing is reading the book, going back and forth between the front and the back of this giant thing and you look and feel like a lunatic. And that's the point. And I love it. Here's another crazy thing about this book. If you go on the internet and you look for advice on how to read this book, they're gonna tell you, you should bring three bookmarks with you. One bookmark to keep the page that you're on in the story. Another bookmark to keep in the part of the footnotes that you're on. And a third bookmark on page 223. Because on 223, we have a guide that tells you the years in order that they happen. Now you think, Alex, I know what, hap what years, what order the years go in, because they're numbered. But in this book, they're not numbered. In this book, years are categorized or delineated by the brand that bought them. In, see, Infinite Jest was written 25 years ago about American culture 25 years in the future. So very appropriate for today. And it describes a book where consumerism, addiction, and materialism have gone rampant and taken over everything to include brands buying the name of the year itself. The book opens in the year of the Depends adult underwear. You wanna get a little more weird? The book is basically plotless, but it follows three distinct groups of people. One is a championship tennis player who's awkward to say the least. Another is a group of recovering addicts who live in a, in a house, a recovery house. And the third are a group of elite wheelchair bound Canadian assassins who were trying to plot a coup against the American government. Infinite Jest explores a society when nobody has any values that are above them. And so what we do is we only value ourselves as individuals. And it talks about the devolution of culture when you do that and how it produces bullshit meme culture, which is what we have, which is why this book is so appropriate. Let me tell you why I decided to make this video in the first place. I have been wanting to reread this book for a while now. It just infected my brain. I can't stop thinking about it. I gotta reread it. And I wanna do it with friends because reading books with friends is amazing. And so I've been planning this for a while and I was gonna do it in January. And then last night I was reading some obscure rabbit hole on the internet because that's what the internet is for. And I was looking for a pretentious and profound quote to share in my Facebook feed because that's what Facebook is for. And I stumbled across a review of Infinite Jest that just pinged my soul. 
and I'll read it to you. Infinite Jest not only says that being human is hard work, it makes us work hard. It not only suggests that we put ourselves in service to something larger than ourselves, it is one of those larger somethings. To me, this is such an accurate representation of humanity and this book. And it really gets to the core of why this book is valuable. Because everything that I've ever done in life and everything you've probably ever done in life that's valuable, that makes you feel accomplished and inspired has been hard. All the value is in hard. Nothing easy is worth anything. And this book is not a fun and casual read with friends. This book is hard. I'm not saying that to be a arrogant or pretentious. It's actually a hard book and it is immensely, immensely valuable, but it's not a value that I can summarize and just hand to you easily. I can't give it to you. You have to read it. And so I want you to read it, not because it's going to make my life better. It's going to make your life better. And I know that it's going to make your life better. And that's why I'm going to hold your hand and we are going to read it together so that you can get it done and get the value out of it. And I'm going to drag you to prosperity, kicking and screaming if I have to. And here's how I'm going to help because this book is going to take us a long time. It's a long book. It's a big book. We are going to do weekly Zoom chats and we're going to be very active in the Facebook book club group of mine so that we can all get this thing done as a team. We are going to dissect, analyze, and discuss every little nuance and inch of this book until you all become insufferable, pretentious nerds about it like I am. And it is going to be awesome. When this is all said and done, what do you get for your labors? I'm glad you asked. First, you're going to get a very useful new perspective of a culture and a critique of a culture that you currently live in. That's valuable. Second, you're going to accomplish a difficult task with a group of like-minded people who have all volunteered for the same adversity. That creates a unique and exciting bonding experience with fellow human beings that is very hard to replicate. Third, and probably most importantly, you're going to get bragging rights. Mad bragging rights, bro. This book is the pinnacle postmodern critique of American culture, and it's like nothing you've ever read. And it's like nothing that most people you know will ever read. And you are going to be able to take that experience and shove it in their faces forever, and there's nothing they can do about it. And we're gonna do that. I'm gonna give that gift to you. You're welcome in advance. It's gonna be amazing. This is what the internet is for. Shit talk. If that's not what the internet is for, I have no idea what we're all doing here. January 1st, we start. I know I'm early. I got so excited. I got so, I got excited. But January 1st, we're going to start. Order your copy now. You're going to want the physical copy. I'm going to probably do some audible, but I'm mostly going to read the physical copy because it just, it's a different experience. You want to feel like a lunatic in a coffee shop doing this, doing this guy. You want to do it. It's part of the fun. It's part of the fun. January 1st, order your copy now, have it in advance, get your hype on. It's gonna be awesome and it's gonna be easy. Infinite Jest, bro.